Now, just before you continue watching this video, please note that I do talk about major spoilers from Marvel Studios' Avengers Endgame. So if you have yet to see the film, then I'd highly recommend that you click off this video and go see it as soon as possible because it is hands down the must-see film of the year. What's going on, everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here, and welcome back to another LEGO DC Super Villains video. So in today's video, I'm of course going to be showing you guys how to make Captain Marvel from Avengers Endgame using the Endgame Custom. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so to start off with, we're of course going to head into appearance, head, head, and then head again, and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find custom head 13, and of course this skin tone right here. Then once you've done that, you're going to back out of there, go into face decal colour, which is the colour of the eyebrows, which we want to make sure are this colour right here. For the eyeshadow, just go ahead and match it with the skin tone. For the lip colour, we're going to go with this colour right here, and for the wrinkle decal colour, you also want to match it with the skin tone. Now then, we don't need any accessories, so of course you can back out of there, go into hair, and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find the fourth wavy hairstyle. And for the colour, we're going to go with this one right here. Nice. Now then, onto the body. So for the body, we're going to go for preset body, and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find Wonder Woman New 52's body. And for the colour, we're going to go with dark red. Now then, for the arms, you're going to go to both arms, and you want to choose Adam Strange's arms. And for the first colour, we're going to make it dark red, while the second colour needs to be dark blue because of course now what we're going to do is head on into hands and make sure that the hands are dark blue as well. Now then for the hips you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find Wonder Woman New 52s. Yet again you're going to make sure they are dark red and finally of course we need to choose some legs which are going to be Adam Strange's legs. So for the first colour we're going to make sure that is dark blue while the second colour is of course going to be dark red. Now for those of you that prefer Carol's masked appearance here's how to make exactly that. So first off what you want to do is scroll all the way to the top to head, head, and then head again, and you're going to scroll all the way to the very bottom until you find custom head 68 in, of course, dark blue. Then once you've done that, you're going to back out of there, go into face decal colour, which you need to match the skin tone. For the eyeshadow, we're going to go ahead and make it black, and for the lip colour, you're just going to keep it the same. And finally, of course, we need some hair, so you're going to scroll all the way to the top until you find the short mohawk, and for the colour, we're going to go with this one right here. Nice. Now then, on to the effects. So we definitely need a left hand glow, so we're going to turn that on, make sure that it's style 1, and then for the colour we're going to go with orange. And you're also going to do the same with the right hand glow as well, so yet again, style 1 in orange. Now then, for the hit impact effects, you're going to turn that on, make sure that it's style 4 this time, and then for the colour we're going to go with blue. And you're also going to do the same with the jump slam effects as well, so yet again, turn that on, make sure that you go with style 1, and then for the colour we're going to go with the same blue yet again. Nice. Now then, on to the ability. Abilities. So we don't need to add any abilities to the tag button, but for the jump button we're going to go to double tap X and add the flight ability. And while we're at it, we'll also add the hyper jump ability on hold X as well. Now then, for the action button, on tap square we're going to add bolt, so you want to turn that on. Make sure that you go with both hands as the bolt origin. For the bolt style, we're going to go with bolt style 3. For the colour, we're going to go with this blue right here. We don't need to add targeting, and for the damage type, we're going to go with explosive bolts. Now then, on hold square, you're going to add the beam attack ability, so you want to turn that on make sure that you go with beam style one for the damage type we're going to keep it as a heat beam for the beam color we're going to go with the same blue that we went with before and then for the origin you want to go with both hands and finally for the circle button we're just going to leave tap circle but on hold circle we're going to add the explosion attack ability so you want to turn that on make sure that you go with explosion style one which is this one right here for the effect we're going to go with explosion effect five for the damage type we're going to go with a sonar explosion and then for the color we're going to go with the same blue that we went with before because as you can see here that looks really really cool now then on to the skills so for the health icon i'm just going to go with teal as a nice little reference to the fact that carol obviously has cree blood for the health type we're going to go with standard health for the voice just choose any female voice for the speed go with normal for the target reticle i would probably suggest going with death storms and then for the animation we're of course going to go with cool nice all right so we've done the appearance the effects the abilities the personality we don't need any weapons so now what we need to do is fill in the basic information. So for the status we'll put hero, for the affiliation we'll put unknown, and then for the name we're of course going to put Captain Marvel. Nice. Alright cool, so now of course what we're going to do is drop Captain Marvel into the hub world and see just what she can do. And here she is! This is of course my custom made Captain Marvel from Avengers Endgame made in LEGO DC Supervillains. Let's just get a good look at her right here. Now as soon as I got out of seeing the movie, which was quite a while ago now, the first thing that I wanted to be able to recreate in the 
this game was Captain Marvel's new suit. So I've got to say, this might be one of my personal favorite custom character designs to date because I am just extremely happy with how movie accurate this design actually turned out. Anyway, enough chit chat, what can she actually do? Well, of course, she can jump, fly, and hyper jump, which I'll showcase more in a little bit. In terms of melee combat, she can deal out punches like this. She's also got super strength, so she can easily pick up this forklift and chuck it over there like that. And she can also destroy it again using her jump attack, which is really cool. As well as this, we've also, of course, got the bolt ability, so we can shoot like this, which is awesome. We've also got the beam, and if we come all the way over to here where the police officer is, we can also demonstrate the explosive ability, which is very cool, because if you hold down circle, she does this. Nice. All right, cool. So now, of course, what we're going to do is head on into Metropolis and fight the police, because obviously this is Lego DC Super Villains. We're not going to be stopping the crimes. We're going to be the ones starting them. Just as another friendly reminder, I am about to talk about major spoilers from Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame in this section of the video. So again, if you haven't seen the movie, then please click off the video right now because you do not want this film spoiled for you. Now, I absolutely loved Marvel Studios Captain Marvel, so I was extremely excited to see more from Brie Larson as Carol Danvers in Avengers Endgame, and she definitely did not disappoint. So if I remember correctly, I believe the first we saw of Carol in this movie was when she headed off into space and rescued Tony Stark and Nebula from the Benatar before, of course, safely bringing them back down to Earth outside the Avengers HQ. It's later, of course, that the Avengers detect a power surge coming from Titan 2, indicating that Thanos had used the stones again. So Carol and the team then headed off into space with a plan to use the Infinity Gauntlet to reverse the snap, which, as we find out later, obviously does not work. But after arriving at Titan 2, we see Danvers above the planet as she runs a recon of the area before realizing that Thanos is actually all alone. That is, of course, until Carol comes flying right down into him and starts choking him by the neck as Rhodey and Bruce pull on Thanos' arm before Thor comes in and literally chops the hand with the Infinity Gauntlet clean off. But despite the team's best efforts, Thanos informs them that he had destroyed all six of the Infinity Stones because they no longer served a purpose to him. Five years after that event, in a very cool briefing scene with Black Widow checking up on Rocket Raccoon, Nebula, War Machine and Carol, we got to see Danvers' brand new costume and hairstyle, which Rocket quickly points out. And I've got to say, I personally think that this is her best look yet, because the colouring on the suit is actually based on Marvel's original costume, while her new do is inspired by the look that she has in the more recent run of Captain Marvel comics. And during that scene, Natasha asks if they'd be seeing Carol back at HQ next month, which she of course explained was unlikely, as she was actually covering a lot of territory, helping other planets with life that were still dealing with the aftermath of the snap. And I absolutely love how Carol has essentially become this lone galactic space cop in the MCU. And if her sequels are set before Avengers Endgame, then I'm very excited to see just how exactly she gets to that point. And then that's it for Carol, until of course the Battle of Earth, the best scene in the entire movie. Quite possibly my favorite scene in cinematic history. I mean, it was just everything that I've always wanted to see in a superhero movie. We hear of course Friday inform Tony that something just entered the Earth's atmosphere and quickly realize that was in fact Captain Marvel as she completely annihilates all of Thanos' Air Force, including the Sanctuary 2, which was just so cool to see. And I've also got to say, I absolutely love that little interaction she had with Peter Parker on the battlefield. And with Far From Home marketing Spider-Man as the new face of Marvel Studios, I could totally see him and Carol essentially acting as the new Iron Man and Captain America of the Avengers moving forward into Phase 4. So I'm very excited to see more from their friendship when they next cross paths. We then got to see this really cool scene where Carol was joined by Valkyrie, Scarlet Witch, Okoye, Mantis, Shuri, 2014's Gamora, Nebula, Wasp, and even Pepper Potts in the rescue armor, which I've personally been wanting to see in the Marvel Cinematic Universe since Iron Man 2, and boy was it worth it. So overall, while Captain Marvel had nowhere near the amount of screen time that I was actually expecting, I will still say that for a story that was focused on the original six members of the Avengers, and considering the fact that Carol was just revealed to be part of this universe, I personally think that she had the perfect amount of screen time. And if anything, her involvement in the film was similar to the way that Ant-Man was handled in Captain America's Civil War. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it because I had a blast creating this video. I am just so happy with the way that this design turned out. It really does look like Carol's new suit from the film, which is just so great to see. Anyway, guys, as always, I want to thank you all very much
very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.